Flooding is Tamaki Makoto, Auckland's most frequently occurring natural hazard. Because of the geography, most of our flooding is flash flooding, which can occur rapidly after intense rainfall when the capacity of the local drainage systems is exceeded. Flash floods can occur in areas where no streams are present. How do these floods occur? During a storm, rain that falls onto the road or other hard surfaces flows into the stormwater pipe system, or water can be absorbed directly into the ground. Most of the time, the capacity of the local drainage system is sufficient to avoid flooding of buildings. If the intensity of the rainfall increases, the piped system may reach capacity. Water that has nowhere else to go will start flowing over the ground across roads, public and private properties. Water will naturally flow down to low areas, getting trapped and starting to pool or pond. These areas are prone to flooding. During heavy rain, the water level in a stream will rise until eventually the water may no longer be contained within the banks. It overtops and floods the land either side. This is called a floodplain. In flat areas, floodplains can be very large. Flooding can also occur where historically there was a stream which has since been piped. During times of intense rain, water may still pond here and flooding may occur where you don't normally see water. You may see council parks and reserves underwater during a storm. These are intentionally flooded to divert water away from buildings. Where possible, council is replacing pipes and parks and reserves with naturalised streams and wetlands to hold more flood water in a storm and enhance the environment. With climate change and global temperatures rising, we expect to see more intense rainfall that will increase the scale and frequency of flooding. Sea level rise will cause more flooding in coastal areas during storm events, as higher tides block flood water exiting to the sea and higher coastal water levels increase coastal inundation and waves. To plan how we adapt to changing hazards like flooding, we need to understand how they impact communities and the physical assets that support them. Shoreline adaptation plans and Te Taruke Atafiri, Auckland's climate plan, are ways in which we are planning for our changing hazard risk. Our future depends on the choices and actions we take now. To help us plan for the future, join the conversation at AK Have Your Say.